Hey guys, at the night I thought I'd uh, bring you a video review of the uh, Transformers Avengers of the Fallen um, Legends Class Devastator or the uh, Constructicons as you can see. Um, these guys are very very cool. Um, I do like this a lot. Uh, I kind of prefer it over the normal uh, Supreme Class Devastator anyways. Although, I've never owned that figure. I haven't messed with it. I have played with it whenever I was a kid. I think this is more um, accurate because you get like the robots with it. Although, the movie, um, technically the limbs didn't really transform. You just kind of seen the his body parts of him running around while Devastator was being born, which is odd. But So, I guess it's kind of not accurate. I, I don't really know. Um, but I do like how they have robot modes. Um, so, I do like that. Um but yeah so I'm gonna go ahead and review these guys individually um, so we're gonna go ahead and just kinda push some of these guys back and we'll start with Long Haul Long Haul is very very cool he rolls extremely well um, I do love the color very very G1 uh, con esque for sure that's why I really, really do like Long Haul. And plus, his character was pretty cool to play as in the game. And the Voyager uh, toys, pretty freaking cool too. Uh, you see, I have a stretch mark. I mean, a, a stress mark right here. <laughs> Not stretch mark. Uh, but it, it still taps in fine and everything. So, you do have, uh, like, <laughs> Hasbro. You probably can't see that. But it says, like, a Hasbro and, like, C 207. Um, I think that's 1A, so that's kind of weird. I guess he, maybe he's like a dump truck for Hasbro. Who knows? But, yeah, you have that. A nice black Decepticon symbol. If I've already mentioned that. There's the like, black looking cab. It's a nice molded detail, so. Very, very, very nice. But to get him in the robot mode, we'll just lift that up, pull down the legs. We'll open this up. Open up the arms, pull this flap down, open the legs, there you have him. So, yeah. Sit him back over here. Well, actually, we'll pay a little bit closer to detail. The head looks pretty nice. Has the red eyes painted in there. It was kind of squat like. Like I said, squat in there, but oh well. His big like, shoulder pad looking thing. It's kind of hollow right here, unfortunately. His hands are open. Of course, this foot here is kind of at an angle on mine because against that stress mark, that does kind of affect that, but it still does stand, you know. Pretty nice. It's back, very flat, very flush, like that. So, uh, now they did release a Legends Class version of this guy, which is a lot more accurate, but he doesn't combine with these guys, I don't think. So, I guess if you want a more accurate version, you can get that one. I think it's in the Hunt for Decepticon song, I can't remember. But anyhow, um, some muck on there. We'll move over to Mixmaster. Mixmaster rolls very, very well, for sure. He has a nice uh, drum roll, or if that's what it's called. I don't mean like drum roll, please. I mean, <laughs> I mean like the cement drum. That's that's what I'm looking for. Yeah, he has a nice set of symbols. Wish they were purple, but oh well. Legend class toy. What can you expect? Uh, some silverish. Um, Looking windows right there, maybe a little tint of purple. That might be just my light hitting it a certain way. I don't know, but you got that the underside of it. You can kind of see Devil Sator's head right there. Kind of, yeah, that's his head. Um, Devil Sator's head. So a nice molding detail right there. All in the back of it, like with the ladder right here and everything. So it's a little like dump bucket looking thing. So that's pretty cool. So again, it's got a robot mode. You're going to lift this section up. Bring it back. And pull this down. You can see his head thing. <laughs> pull this out. This tabs together. Rotate the arm bits around. I guess you can kind of like rotate these pieces out if you want to. Kind of like that, maybe. Just kind of differentiate it. Um, so you can kind of do that, I suppose. Maybe kind of like that. Uh, something along those lines. Um, 
this piece back here, which again is like Devastator's head. Um, supports thing kind of has like the Avengers Fallen Deluxe Class Rampage Syndrome with that. Um, he has a, this, that's not a robot mode. It's very, very weird and pretty dumb looking, I think. Um, you can kind of bring those down, I guess. So it's a little bit better, but I mean, the head scope looks like he's sad. I don't know. It's just like one eye is like kind of squat, and the other one looks weird. Maybe like he's confused. I don't know. The scope's not that great. The red eyes are kind of cool, but that, that just looks pretty ugly, I think. It has like, you know, like hollow legs inside there, so. I think that's pretty ugly myself, but we'll see him back there. Um, next, we'll do Scavenger. Demolisher. Right, this is Scavenger to me. How it says in the package, but yeah. It has a, like a working shovel. So that's pretty cool. Don't do anything right here. This thing kind of rotates, I suppose, but that's the transformation. Uh, it kind of goes side to side, not really rotate, but you get my point. Does it go down right here at this joint? But obviously, like I said, it does right here. You see uh, those like little like you know screw indentation marks. That kind of had the Voyager one or the Demolisher Voyager one. Technically, I guess I don't know. <laughs> it rolls pretty well, pretty damn good. It has these wheels right here, these big ass wheels right here. So it rolls pretty well. I think it'll be going that fast. This is a pretty big ass vehicle, but. <laughs> You have that. It does have some nice detail though, like with the sculpting and the nice white septicon symbols. I do like that. And the uh, treads right there, so. It's pretty cool. When you get in the robot mode, you just open this up. And you wanna kinda do that. Maybe that'll help. Oh, I know, I'm sorry. Yeah, you can leave the treads up. You can push the wheels back. There you go. That, that kinda brings the arms out of the way. I'm going to rotate these bits around. And then separate the wheels. I don't think it really matters which one you do it. Like which one you bring up or which one you bring down. Kind of like the Voyager one, I believe. But yeah, just we'll just do it like this. You slide it over on this notch back here. Like how it did on this one. You just like slide it over, which can be rough sometimes. You do it. There we go, it can be a little bit hard to get to. You gotta kinda put your nail back there at times. Uh, but, yeah, and like I said, I mean, you can if you wanted to, you know, you could reverse that. Um, you could bring this one, which. There we go, like that, and then we can bring this one like this. Be careful with it though, you don't, you don't want to snap this plastic, like how I almost did it felt like. The arms kind of support it, just like the Voyager Demolisher kind of, but you have that. Um, hollow arms again. I was starting to those how many of these guys have hollow arms. I didn't really catch that before until I made this, until I'm making this review, but this have really nice head sculpt. With the yellow eyes and the buggish looking head, so kind of like the triangle looking mouth thing, so that's pretty cool. It's having these little bit of rivets in there, so it's really nice detailing. You can't see that, but you probably can't. But you have him, and oddly enough, he's really, really short. <laughs> um, let's see, we'll do Rampage. This guy's actually pretty tall in robot mode, which is weird. That should be like reverse, I don't know, but uh, yeah, he rolls uh, fairly well. Uh, the bucket, I guess, I mean, the uh, shovel can kind of move up and down, I guess. It can like that, but obviously bulldozers don't do this. So, yeah, it does kind of, I guess, do like that. Can't really move up any, of course. <coughs> Ooh, excuse me. Oh, sorry about that, guys. Uh, anyhow. Yeah, it has, like, a sky blue, um, like, interior, I guess, where the cap section is. Um, so... And it does have some nice detailing though, with like the treads and the gears, and it's pretty nice. To bet it ain't red, it's still yellow, but whatever. <laughs> um, nice black Decepticon symbol right there, by the way. But yeah, the game of his weird looking robot mode. You want to rotate these ball joints, but it's inside. for some reason, this one on this side, just on this side on mine, it always pops off. Don't know why, but it does not want to grip in there on mine. Like, 
It's stupid. Mine's stupid like that. I don't know. Uh, maybe maybe he gets one some. I don't know. Like some clear nail polish mover in there to maybe strengthen that. I don't know. It's not loose. It's, it just comes out. Kind of like the new masterpiece Ultra Magnus coming out with the uh, spike. You know, his arms just keep on popping off. But anyhow, enough about that. Just want to bring this piece down. And all the way down. Just going to flip this out. And then I'm going to leave this up to the side. Yeah, you leave this up. You can kind of bring this section up. And this is like the supporter, I guess, for this mode. And obviously this creates like the jackhammer mode. Like the weird jackhammer mode, I guess. Which is kind of, which is pretty accurate to the movie. See so again, you you really see Rampage with legs, so you don't see him in the jackhammer mode. So, yeah, the head, just flip it up, flip back this section, or try to reattach arm, try to keep it on. Do the same on this side. Here you have a robot mode. Scene looks fugly. I think it looks worse than Mixmaster. Just man, they tried to pull it off. I see what they tried to do here, but Jesus Christ, this is ugly. So so ugly. Well, I mean, the head sculpt is fair, it's decent, better than Mixed Masters at least. Uh, you can barely see the red eyes, but they barely, 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 barely did that. There's no way that I can pick up on camera. It's like they literally got, like, like a tack. Dipped it in red paint and just touched it. And that's if, I mean, it is so little for the red eyes. Which is almost, un, you know, unnoticeable. You have to really look in there. So, but, yeah, we'll set him off to the side. See, next, we'll do Overload, which is a new member. Um, usually, except the cons consist of six, um, you know, members. Now we have the seventh dude, which is in there. But, yeah, he rolls very, very nice. Only in two wheels. This is a fake wheel, obviously. It's smaller. It looks kind of weird. So, maybe, maybe, maybe this is supposed to have two wheels. That's like a spare wheel. I don't know. But I think it's supposed to have, um, you know, three wheels. I don't know. Cab station looks pretty cool. Has a nice, like, silvery looking Septicon symbol. Bolding is pretty good all around right here and on the side, like with the rivets. So that's pretty cool. Just the back. So we get him in robot mode. Just gonna pull down the arms. Separate these bits. Kind of just leave that up you can kind of pull it back I guess like that if you really wanted to but I think it's supposed to kind of stay up like that but I'll leave it back separate the legs uh, you can kind of pull it up like that and make him taller um, we can do that I can kind of do that makes him just a little bit taller but he's a midget man uh, that's his robo mode and he's a little bitty dude he's a little brother <laughs> I mean <laughs> look at that it's chunky. The eyes are like a yellowish, like orangish. It's probably not going to pick up. It might a little bit, but his pretty. His head looks pretty interesting. His arms are pretty interesting for sure. Hollowness, of course, and the legs. I mean, you can actually tell they have feet. They're flat, like toe-looking feet. So that's pretty cool. You can actually look up a concept designs for this guy if he was going to transform in the movie. How it look? It's pretty damn cool, I think. Too bad they didn't. Incorporate that in the movie where you, where you can see all these guys' robot modes. Because um, in the movie, we got to, we got to see Long Haul, um, Mixmaster, Rampage, Demol or Scavenger, Demolisher, whichever. I guess they're the same. I don't really know. It's like the whole Grindor Blackout discussion. Uh, we got to see Scav uh, Scrapper some, actually. We actually got to see some of him, Dark of the Moon, and um, Long Haul, too, I believe. The high tower we didn't get, and overload we didn't. But what can you do? So, yeah, speaking of high tower, we'll go with him next. Rolls decent. Um, no, not really. I mean, well, that's a little bit better. He's kind of scraped along because of this section. I mean, mine's kind of loose, of course, but if it wasn't, it would be better. Let's see, it kind of just scrapes across. But. Cap stitch is like this, like this, like thin white piece. And it kind of cuts off right there. It's kind of a shame, but whatever. Not really much I could do there, I guess. But the hook does this. <laughs> um, 
This is a nice black Decepticon symbol. Of course, you know, the molding between all this is pretty damn good. So is the treads, and it's kind of bland right here, of course. And that looks kind of nice, I guess. And it's cage section, which we'll play in a second. Um, I guess this section is kind of nice that they did this. I don't know. Wires. Maybe, I think that, I think that these vehicles, that wires go like from here, like from here all the way up to here and then down to here to the crane to, you know, lift stuff. I don't really know. Again, I'm not a big expert or educated on construction vehicles. So, but anyhow, the transform him kind of weird, kind of like Demolisher. He's a really weird looking robot mode. Um, even though that's kind of weird looking anyways, but you get my point. You know, no legs kind of. But yeah, you separate this. You then want to separate these bits and bring them out. You then want to fold this into this like open score section right back here. Like so, kind of let this back right here, and it can kind of, I guess, clip back in like so. You then bring this bit down, and as you can see, you see the whole head kind of chest everything right there, but. That covers it. Has these weird, like, hand looking things. Like a T Rex kangaroo. It's kind of weird looking. But, <laughs> anyhow, you bring down these treads. And kind of like the Voyager Mix Master with the uh, cement drum bits. It kind of just folds over like that. That little open square right here. So you just do the same on this side. And here we have Hot Tower. Oh, and also, even the ring gun. Kind of helps if you put your finger or your pinky behind here. Even though I have like these big beefy hands and fingers, it's kind of rough on me. But <laughs> yeah, you bring this out, uh, you bring it up to the top, rotate this bit out, and there you go. So that's how Tower and Robot mode. How Tower looks a lot more strange than most of the, <laughs> the characters. Of course, he can roll a little bit, uh, kind of better, I guess. Again, yeah, it has, it has like that really weird T Rex looking kangaroo hand looking things. It looks like a hawk, kind of. It's weird. It has a weird, like, claw machine looking hand. Like, what the hell? The head sculpt inside, I mean, it looks pretty cool. I guess. That's a cage over it, so I guess it kind of hides it, but it's kind of a cool design, I guess, with that section right there. Again, you can look up that design also. Like how you can overload, and the design looks kind of neat in the movie, and it kind of represents this. So, yeah, we'll set this to the side. I kind of like how they uh, have these robot mode. How you can see all these guys, where well, you can see all of them, like what they kind of represent, I guess. Yeah, for the last member to get to robot mode, we'll get to the uh, leader, well, guest leader of the group, um, Scrapper. So, Scrapper, he rolls very, very, very well. He rolls excellent. If you looked at the... There we go. If you looked that up some. He rolls very, very well. Um, so, you have that. Um, he has this really sky blue, like, cab section, which is pretty cool looking. Nice black septicon symbol right there. Very nice molding, like right here. And all in there, kind of. And he's like, well pitch right here and all along the side so it's pretty cool um, so to get him to robot mode you just lift this up separate these bits kinda pull them down a little bit you then bring them up to the side rotate the feet around Let's get everything settled. Here you have Scrap in Robot Mode. This guy has to be my favorite out of all these guys. He was badass, I think. And he was pretty cool looking in what we barely seen in the movies. I think in Revenge of the Fallen again, I think we barely seen him in Dark of the Moon. He just looks so badass. Like the head sculpt looks very, very nice. Like the red like detail, you don't like right along here. Fingers and or hands or whatever look pretty damn sweet. These uh, shoulder sections look pretty menacing too, with like the kind of pointy look, and he's like pointy, maybe like nibble bits. <laughs> I don't know. They look maybe he's cold. Uh, <laughs> that was kind of cool. The toes kind of still look pointy, so that's pretty neat, I think. 
very flush back, you know. I mean, it just this guy looks awesome. So, set him back here. And here we have the Constructor Con family in the robot modes. They all look pretty good as a group, I think. Uh, of course, Rampage is probably the tallest, uh, which is kind of weird. Um, you can kind of make him squat some, I guess. But whatever. We're not really going to worry about that. Um, again, you know, they do look pretty cool, I think. Um, definitely look great as a team, I believe. Um... And I've already gone over them, I and mean, there's not really much you can say um, about them, because I know what you guys are here for, and that's Devastator. Um, so we're going to go get these guys back into vehicle mode, then we're going to move on to Devastator, because it's, it's easier to do it that way. And plus, I'm going to show you how to get them back to vehicle mode. So, to get them back in vehicle mode, I'm just going to go over it quickly. Just pull those together, pull those back, plug this together. Pull up, hold it down, clips in. Of course, that piece, you know, would gets up and clip in. It's long haul, scavenger, demolisher, whatever you want to call him. Slide that back. Slide this up and over to the side. Lock it together. We'll kind of lift that up. We'll take that to the side. These sections. Tap together, tap together, lift. See if it would be all the way down like that. Lift that up. Make sure those are up. There's scavenger demolisher, whatever you prefer to call him. This is Hide Tower. So I guess it kinda takes place a hook, by the way, I guess in G1, I don't really know, but fill up that claw all the way, put it in, pull out the little crane bit. Pull this down, bring that up, connect it back, flatten these sections, pull them down, tab these bits in right here, hang on like this, there we go. Just like that. Hot tower. We'll get overload. You just overlord. I can't remember his name. I think it's overload. Pull the arms in. If I'm wrong, you might correct me in the comments below. But I'm gonna go with overload. So you just close those. Anyhow, bring that back up. Pull this section down. Make sure the legs are. You know, push back and snug together. Overload. And move the camera over. Sorry about that. Got Mix Master. Nah. Uh, take these bits back around. Let's see them over here on this side. Close those all together. Like so. Pull that piece up, make sure these legs are clipped in. They're, they don't really like to just stay clipped in that much, but obviously. And bring the head in, just kind of clip everything in around it. Just mix master. Get round page. I'm going to pull this off, it's going to come off anyway. <laughs> just pulling the head. Bring this down, pull the treads. Uh, this section will be down, of course, we just pull it up. Bring it over to the side, pull this bit to place. Do the same over here. There we go. Make sure this shovel bit's clipped in. We have rampage. And lastly but not least, my favorite of the group, probably the best of them all, Scrapper. Let's fold down his arms over. Kind of put the legs on to kind of get, get clear to the swill, but put those in. Make sure it's all pegged in. I'll bring these leg bits up. Take the feet around. Clip them together. 
Get this head section, the cabinet basically. You fold it in, you kind of tab it in, I suppose, like right along inside here. And here you have them all back in vehicle mode, which they look pretty nice in vehicle mode, obviously, do. So now we're going to go into Devastator mode, because I've already gone over these modes. So, <laughs> Devastator mode, we're long haul. Pull him up, pull him forward. Pull the section back. Boom. Rampage. Pull it up. Um, pull the section back some. Pull it out till it stops. Bring that all the way down. Pull this all the way back. These sections will come back around. Behind him and the shovel will clip in. And Oh, there's the life rampage. Next, we want to get overload. Bring down this section. Fold this back. Bring out the legs like so. We have him. Um, from here, you want to get demolisher, or I'm sorry, scavenger, whatever you want to call him. I'm going to open up these bits, pull back this section, and do something like this. Bring the arms in, get these tread sections finally, you can do something with those, I guess. Bring these forward. So we have this. Um, so, grab a, a high tower. I like to just go like that and connect this piece right here. The structures say, I think the structures say at least to bring this up. I had to kind of leave it out to make it look a little bit more movie accurate, I guess. To kind of get that. That's just my preference. But yeah, you just bring out the arm. Like so. I mean, sorry, the hand like so. Like that cage and this body section kind of create the hand, I guess. So, we'll put him over here. Then we'll grab... Scrapper, which we'll just pull out this section, we'll take the foot pieces around, it becomes the fingers. I guess you can kind of separate it, I suppose. You get like a third finger, I guess, so. Because you can do that, but I have to kind of keep them together. It's my preference. Just lay him down. Get Mix Master. Pull that head section back, pull this up, separate it. There we go. So that's the pieces. Now to combine them, just grab. I have to go ahead and just tab these sections in back here. Put in the legs. These tread bits will slide along here. And, um, just get the arms out of the way. These wheels will also. Walk in right here. Um, kind of bring in these arm sections again. Get high tower. Go ahead and just plug him in right here. Get scrapper. Plug him in right here. Bring the camera up just a tad bit. And lastly, get mix master and tab him in right here. Just slot him in. Can I get these bits? I just like to kind of set them like right along back here. Bring the head around. And there's Devastator and finally combined. This guy looks freaking sweet, I think. Of course, he's short because you know it's a Legends class, obviously. He kind of was looking down, but can't bring up the head some of this nice ball joint. So that's kind of cool. You uh, can kind of go like that, I suppose. So you kind of rock out. I don't know. But posability is pretty good. I mean, you can move these arms around. You can kind of do you know things like that as if maybe he was sucking things up like in the movies. So that's pretty cool. I think. I mean, like I said, this guy does have some pretty nice posability. Everything connects so well. He has this so flush back. I mean, yeah, it's sticking out. But I mean, you can look that up. I mean, it, it make sure that I don't separate the wheel. I mean, that can kind of get annoying, but. It's, I mean, look at that. It's just so flush, and it fits together so well, and it's 
It's like no kibble. It just, it looks amazing. I think for such a little for such little bitty figures that aren't that. I mean, they're, they're decent by themselves, but just this just looks awesome. I think. And sure, it's not big. Sure, it's not massive. But I mean, it's just it's cool to know that you can have all of these, and you actually have overload with it. He was in the movie, you know, the vehicle mode. So was Hightower in vehicle mode. But the Supreme Plus Devastator only had five members. Which, oh, I'm sorry, six members. Which was a shame. Um, it really, really was. Um, I, I don't know. I mean, if I had to say which one would you rather get, I would still go with Supreme Plus Devastator just because it's big. It's, it's pretty sizable. Um, but if you're looking for, uh, not scale, I guess, and just better terms of a figure, I would go with this for sure. Because, again, you get a lot more with it, I think at least. It's a lot more posable, and it's just, it's a lot more fun, I think. It, it just looks really, really cool. The head sculpt may not be crazy good. It's still good enough. I mean, you can tell that's Devastator, for sure, in the movie, so... Pretty good. Um, I do want to make a side note, and I'm not trying to be dirty, but in the movie, maybe those wheels are supposed to be his uh, famous wrecking balls. I don't know, but I'm kind of curious. I actually think it seemed like an add-on kit where somebody made it where you put some on right there. On the Supreme one, even one, which is goofy, but <laughs> enough about that conversation. Uh, that That's the Michael Bay stuff right there. But... He does look very, very cool. This is badass, I think. Um, for a size comparison, of course, here it is. Movie 1, Deluxe Bumblebee again. So, here's a nice size comparison. Devastator comes up uh, roughly to about Bumblebee's forehead. Um, maybe to his chin. Something like that. So, pretty good size, I think, for a Legends class, you know. But, yeah, this guy's awesome. I could just go on forever on how cool this is. Now, there also is a G1 color one out there, which, as I checked, was pretty expensive like on the aftermarket, like on eBay and places like that. But, uh, I don't know. I haven't really checked for this figure that much since then. Maybe it's died back down, or maybe you could find it for a good price, because the G1 color one does look very, very cool, I think. Uh, because, you know, they, they look a lot more uniform, you know, with the same color. Of course, long haul probably really wouldn't change that much. Um, but, yeah. So, that's about it, guys, for this review. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. It's gone on for over 30 minutes. Um, but, guys, I hope you enjoyed. Um, and without further ado, thank you for watching. And I'll definitely catch you later.